Club Serrano members can win free play, a Range Rover, or up to $100,000 cash. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. With a Life Source whole house water system, you can eliminate buying bottled water or changing water filters, reduce harsh chemicals from your water, and enjoy delicious filtered water from every faucet. Life Source water systems. Taste and feel the difference. This is KCAL News Mornings. And welcome to KCAL News at 11 on CBS Los Angeles and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. A massive computer outage this morning grounds flights from coast to coast. It is getting better, but it's still not fully recovered. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live at LAX with the very latest on the situation. Cara. And Marcy, here at LAX, we are starting to see some of those snowball effects of delays in other parts of the country. Take a look. This is the departure board. You can see all the yellow here. These are all aircraft that are delayed in taking off. And this is a much larger number than we've seen at any point today. Earlier today, about 6 a.m. this morning, they lifted that temporary grounding of all U.S. flights. And here's what we heard at that point from Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Take a look. He tweeted that the FAA had determined the safety system affected by an overnight outage had been fully restored. He also said an after action process would get underway to determine root causes and recommend next steps. Buttigieg, who has been hard on airlines over staffing and technology issues during the past year, told CNN that the Transportation Department and Federal Aviation Administration would own responsibility for failures. Now, the system that uh, failed is known as the Notice to Air Mission System. It provides important safety information to pilots before they take off. Earlier this morning, administration officials said there was no evidence of any kind of cyber attack, but that a full investigation was underway. We spoke with one passenger who said her flight to Orlando would be taking off hours later than initially scheduled. I walked over and looked at uh, all the flights to see, because I was like, oh, I'm curious how many got delayed. And there's only like four that are delayed, and of course. Definitely a good reminder, Cara. Thank you. Well, people are cleaning up after this week's wild weather. At least 17 people have died statewide as a result of the storm. The intense rain causing mudslides, sinkholes and flooding. And of course, one of the unforgettable images from the storm, that massive sinkhole in Chatsworth that swallowed an SUV and a truck and crews are now working to fill it. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is there live to show us the progress they're making. Rick. And Marcy, we can all relate to the fear of a sinkhole opening up, like what happened to those two drivers in their vehicles on Monday night. Here's the sinkhole now. There's crews that are cleaning up. Look at all of this asphalt that they pulled out of the sinkhole. So now they are taking this away from the scene. Behind this heavy equipment, you can see probably those two vehicles that were pulled out. The sinkhole is much larger than it was when it swallowed up those two vehicles on Monday night. SkyCal flew over the scene just a short time ago, and you can see from above just how big everything is out.